Hello, and welcome to a picture that's not Violet Town. I'm coloring a seahorse, as it says right there on top. <clears throat> I'm using gel pens that I got at Costco, and they are sparkly as hell. I know you can't really see it from this angle, but I'm, when I'm done with the whole thing, I'll like do a close-up and swivel it in the light so you can all see how majestic it looks. <clears throat> so for this one, I chose like a set palette of gold and orange. I think I have a red in there and some tealy kind of blue-green colors and I don't want to deviate out of that so it'll just look kind of cohesive maybe and less less like crazy town. <clears throat> also, sorry I'm like clearing my throat a lot. I'm actually sick and I could have done this yesterday before I was this sick but you know I don't even know what I was doing. Oh I was working. That's why. Ah yes. Work. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so for anyone else who's ever had a throat problem I recommend making this disgusting tea that uh, my friend Megan told me about. It's ginger, lemon, chili peppers, and honey, which sounds all right until you put it in your mouth and then it's just like, oh god, this tastes like, this tastes like sick water. Or maybe I just like grew to associate that particular mixture of things with being sick. <clears throat> And for the ballsy, you can add some garlic, because why not? It's good for you. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> Try it and let me know how that works out for you. I um, guess it's supposed to be very vitaminful, very anti-bad stuff, bad juju. Uh, or maybe it's just placebo effect. I don't know. But <laughs> it's always nice to drink something warm when you feel like you're dying inside. <clears throat> yeah, uh, sorry about the coughing. I guess I can crop that out, but I'm probably not going to because I'm lazy right now. Um, so I got this whole booklet full of postcards, which is what I'm coloring right now, and it's all of animals. Um, since I don't want to hoard things, if anybody wants a postcard from me, just comment below and send me your uh, address, mailing address, wherever you like to receive mail in like a private message. I don't even know if YouTube does that, but I'm just gonna say yeah, sure, do that. Um, so coloring with gel pens is completely different from alcohol markers because these things don't dry, <laughs> as I've learned. You can see from like the top of the seahorse fin that there's a little orange smudge and that's just from my hand running over the ink before it was completely dry and it actually takes quite a while that's from me learning learning this for the first time um, there's a lot more smudges coming up <laughs> you'll see like on the right side because I'm right-handed there's just gonna be orange blobs everywhere and I don't know how to correct that uh, the best solution that I've come up with is to color for a little bit and just stop just drop it let it let it dry set it aside and then come back to it and that's why this video in particular has like four or five cuts because <clears throat> I have to leave it before I make a bigger mess um, which is a solution that I find all right but you know when you're in the zone and you just want to color and you have to take a break it just sucks so I guess like it's always good to like get up and do stuff <laughs> that's not just sitting here but you know when you're when you're in the zone you want to keep going and that's the that's the biggest difficulty I've found so far with gel pens um, as far as blending goes it's not bad just because just because it doesn't dry quickly you can you can like smear the colors into each other and it blends quite well uh, the other problem with gel pens is that it's quite opaque so in certain parts it actually covers up the black lines and that high key irritates me 
And um, I don't think there's a way to avoid that unless you're very, very, very precise, <clears throat> which is hard to do because these little, little sections are so tiny and the gel pens are kind of fat in the tip. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, you just gotta have a really fine touch when it comes to gel pen coloring or, you know, just color bigger things, which would be really annoying because they're, the tip is too small to color big chunks and it's too fat to color little chunks. That's my conclusion. Okay, so for this, this clip right here, um, I didn't set up my light properly and I actually didn't even look at the camera. I just pressed record and went for it. Uh, light's a little bit hot, <clears throat> but you can also see how metallic it looks. It's actually really cool. I really like it. Um, like in the in the daylight, it actually it doesn't look metallic at all. But when you have like a single light source, you can kind of turn it around. You go, ooh, shiny. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of delirious right now. Uh, I haven't taken NyQuil yet, but that's gonna happen in the near future, and I will just get more loopy. Um, maybe I should have waited until then for a more entertaining voiceover. But no, <laughs> I will save that for another, another video. <clears throat> so, oh wow, oh that hurts. <laughs> so my friend Andy gave me a Ricola once, Ricola, that throat candy stuff that tasted like absolute shit. It was like plum and soy sauce mixed. I don't know what the actual flavor was that it said on the, on the, on the wrapper, but I put it in my mouth and regrets. It was, I think he has a video of this of me just like on the edge of tears because I can't believe he just made me eat this. Actually, he didn't make me eat it. <clears throat> he gave it to me and I voluntarily ate it. Oh yeah, that was awful. But I can really use one of those right now. I feel like that'll, that'll fix my throat a little bit. No, yeah, I'm sorry for everyone who's listening to this with headphones on. I just continuously cough into your ear. But yeah, that's life. Um, I guess like, let's talk about let's talk about health. Um, I don't know how people do work-life balance because I am exceptionally bad at it. That probably contributes to my immune system not being good. Uh, this year was actually quite rough. I got the flu twice. I mean, after the first time, I'm like, well, there's no point getting a flu shot. And then I got it again. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's worth looking into to get a flu shot this year. I, I don't know. So if I had gotten a flu shot, I probably would have gotten the flu only once. Uh, which still sucks, but twice is worse. And um, earlier this year, before I quit working at the warehouse, I was getting sick once a month. At least it was just a cesspool <laughs> and I've been pretty good over the summer but now it's bad again well it's bad only for the first time since I stopped working there and I'm pretty sure it's just cuz I don't do healthy things I don't have healthy habits like work on set and there's just coffee all day and snacks all day and instead of eating like a proper meal at catering, I would just go to Crafty and eat cheesecake. <laughs> and cheesecake and coffee is how I've, how I've been living my life. Um, you know, sometimes water is probably good for you, but I, I don't even realize that I'm doing this. I just refill the coffee and continuously have a cup of coffee in my hands <laughs> the entire time. And then I would eat sugar things and then I feel like crap the next day and not know why well this is why guys um I'm trying to eat fruit but it's just you know when there's fruit laid out and then there's cake next to it which one are you gonna pick hmm okay I've, I did see a lot of people going for the fruit but those they have self-control or they have you know good habits uh this is a thing that I'm learning to curb but it's it's hard. Uh, yeah, you know. It's cake, dude. If I can live on cheesecake, which I'm probably sure you could, just not in a good way. I'm just gonna eat cheesecake. So the moral of the story is, 
don't be like me and take care of yourselves. All right, till next time.